Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Louis. Welcome back. Long time no see. I guess it's been quite a long time. Uh, I've been quite busy with uh, with personal projects, and so I kind of took a break on on videos. And and that I was today uh, wondering, oh, such a nice events going on on both mobile and web. Uh, I might as well just take a break on all my projects and and do some videos. Uh, and here we are <laughs> on a hot summer night, cooling over there. I really need the the cooling, so sorry if the audio isn't really optimal, but that's that's what we have. Um, and we're going to do some videos today. So we have going on 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 web and Facebook, so the browser versions of the game. We have the um, the um what's it called this thing the uh, maelstrom event the great storm event okay and this is great for getting all these uh, storm coins here that you can get and then trade in the vendor uh, for various things um, most notably uh, the flawless and the excellent uh, items here depending on what um, pets you want to evolve and then the storm legacy uh, loot boxes which you can open to get some so various uh, items so particles pet potions and whatever and then also the pet uh, soul chests you know these ones that you have or you probably might have or not on your inventory um, I don't actually have or do I no, I don't have here, but I, I know I have in one account, so let's check on the the browser, the web version. For oh, I was, I was uh, hoping I had, but maybe I already spent. But anyways, it's those those loot boxes that, or boxes, or whatever you want to call them, um, that you open and you get uh, soul stones, li like you have for for um, I don't have any part okay I like this one like you have for heroes but you have for pets that's that's basically it um, so um, the event is about that just evolving your pets as much as you can during the limited three time day event uh, you get a bunch of, of uh, coins here from like these ones here from multiple uh, quests some I've already completed they were quite easy and so if you have, a f for example, stockpiled some um, some of these here, I still have some, some of these portal charges, then you can do m multiple uh, 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 raids on, uh, on an adventure, like I did, uh, and then uh, seize all those, um, all those uh, summoning eggs and other rewards you get from the from the adventure, and then and then try to complete some of those quests. So I have one here pending pending finish to do some more raids, and then and then I'll have enough to complete uh, this quest. So you have more. You have the energy ones, uh, very typical, uh, and so on. So um, the point of this video, uh, I guess, those are the basic things that I probably already spoke about this before in another um, in another video. But the focus of this video will actually be, be doing the 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 path that you you can do here. I, I believe the best path would be this one, and uh, the fastest path to get to the boss. And we'll see how how it goes. I already did it with with the other account. So this is the web account. Um, web browser account and then we have here the Facebook account let's transition the Facebook account the f oopsie something wrong here I'm oh sorry that was the Facebook account this was this is going to be the web account yes so in the web account I already cleared up the paths all the way uh, till very close to the boss however i'm lacking uh, additional moves to to complete it so I, I will i will complete it tomorrow and uh, in this one account i'm using uh, ishmael and jew and they work uh, wonderfully uh, also aurora and, and dorian very important as well <laughs> they work very wonderfully in uh, m many kinds of bosses like like the online bosses 
the adventure here um, they also work very well uh, against uh, the, the new um, game mode that we got introduced some months ago the uh, Asgard here you know, so against the, the big boss here I guess any 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 of them so you can you can do some I'm not the most effective player here but um, I'm happy with my results. My results being, let's see, around 5 million or so. I believe 5.4 million or something like that. I don't know if I can scroll and find me here. Oh, there we are. So, 5.2 million. So, I'm, I'm happy with those results for now. Uh, and using these two heroes, it's a, it's a good way of, of achieving this uh, on various, this eff efficacy on various uh, game modes, both mobile and also the, the browser version. So Drew, and at some point each mail, but not always. But Drew, Drew is really good on, on a lot of game modes. And so this is what I've done here on the, on the web version. We're gonna switch now to the to the Facebook version. So, back in the Facebook version, and we're gonna do the pads. Let me just adjust here the window because this these arranges every time I open. And we're gonna start doing the pads here. So, I have a. Uh, uh, um I have a path that I follow from a video. I will post the the link in my description uh, if I don't forget. I hope not. But basically, what we do is we we do do a kind of a, a kind of a circle around like like this, and then like this, and like that, something like this. It keeps. Not a circle, it's like uh, like a shuriken, <laughs> like a Japanese shuriken, something like that. It's a, a little a warped crossed over, but anyways, that's that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna just adjust a little extra here. I need to see the, the the path clearly as I as I transverse, so I don't make any mistakes. So pulling the window here. All right, I think we can start going. So the first, the first path here would be going over to position number three, right? That one there. So we just go there. This is supposedly to be the easiest. So I'm just gonna go and, and do auto, <laughs> and I hope I don't <laughs> break uh, anything. Um, not expecting to break anything, so just move it across. <coughs> like that. And some noise there, but okay, it's close. And so they, they shot a lot here in the initial uh, paths, but then eventually you just get right to it um, without much further no nuisance. So we just go next to to number seven and then we will do nine and ten and thirteen okay and then eleven exactly as I was uh, suggesting so we're just gonna do auto and I will try to do this as fast as possible so to not consume a lot of time on the video Just keep doing auto. Now the first buff, I think it's very important to get the magic defense. Uh, of course, you can always decide for whatever else, armor or physical attack. I think it's always this tree. Personally, I get the magic defense. It might be a bad idea, <laughs> but it's just my personal decision. But you guys can comment and suge suggest something else and, and why why you why you pick it. Why I why do I pick it? Because further down in the path, uh, about half or or so, 
uh, we face some um, magic uh, enemies, those frosty guys that roll wind, you know, those guys, they use magic damage, as far as I know, and so this is for those, and I suspect also for the boss, but that's another thing. So, we get this here, on my case, uh, also got it on the, the browser version, the, sorry, the web version, <laughs> I keep confusing those two. So, so browser can be web or Facebook or VK or VK, okay? And so speaking of browser, it can be any of those. So the web version, I did it, and now I just did it also on Facebook. So we continue, and the next one will be this one. So we're gonna do the shuriken star kind of shape. Which means now we go uh, sideways here, like horizontal line, and then we divert again on the next path. At some point, I will change from from using Heidi there, so well the lineup. So on the other account, I had uh, Aurora, and then Ishmael, and then Ju, and then I had Sebastian, and then Dorian. All right, here I have a different uh, uh, lineup. I have Aurora. I have and Yasmin, then I have Slash, then I have Sebastian, then I have Heidi. At some point I will be changing Heidi, if I don't forget, uh, with Dorian. Because the amount of uh, damage that my team will be taking will probably need Dorian. This has happened in the past, might be the same here uh, again. Um, I've also used uh, on numerous occasions Ching Mao. Um, my, main, my main team is actually this one uh, with Ching Mao, but um, my theory is that Heidi uh, works better here. Heidi is, al is also one of those heroes that properly developed can be very effective against bosses. And so I use Yasmin, which does a lot of damage. Slash will be doing uh, mostly healing, but also damage. And we can we can check also the logs here to see. Oh, I could have checked there to see exactly how the damage is, distribu is distributed. But then there's also Aurora, and my Aurora is also very effective, especially because I paired her with with Kane, so she gets energy all the time. All right, she she did here more damage than probably these three combined or four combined <laughs> the entire team. Okay, and then she sh and then Celeste, as I was saying, she she also does a lot of a lot of healing. And the previous fights, uh, it's, it's more or less the same now, so uh, these are more balanced. Or uh, still doing more, but not as much. And then here, uh, and we see we see a pattern. Clearly, Aurora is doing, if not the most damage always, at least uh, one of the most damage. So we move on. W we're going to watch this fight here to understand what's happening, actually. And we will try to watch one one uh, fight per different campaign kind of uh, ecosystem <laughs> of uh, of uh, enemies. All right, I'm gonna put it on on speed up. And um, and there, there we go. Quite easy, no issues whatsoever. Uh, the damage I got a little bit excited but the damage was clearly not in favor of Heidi all right so we move on the next up will be path number 21 so path 21 then 18 and then this one so let's move on uh, we're gonna just skip this one it's, it's the same type of um, monsters or enemies so just skip I'm gonna watch the next one that has a different set so this one has a dragon it's which wasn't uh, seen before, I guess. Yeah, I think so. So we we had the the lich, and now we have the dragon. Let's let's watch the the dragon, just to see. Uh, probably has been doing her her max damage here. Because the dragon is, I think, the one with the most HP. Yeah, she wasn't uh, the most damaging, but yeah. So we saw <coughs> we saw that that a bit. And the dragon, yes, was the most HP unit. When we move on, we keep sk skipping all of this. 
And um, I think we will expecting the frost uh, monsters around there on the on that corner. It's pulsating, it's pulsating, blah blah blah. And there we go. Uh, the first frost. Let's watch this and understand if we need to adjust and put Dorian in there. Probably, uh, if not on this fight, in, uh, in the next three or four fi uh, fights. Because at some point we have two of these um, frosties, whatever their name. Let's check their name. The frozen visits, okay. At at one of these positions, we will, will or more, we will be fighting actually two of those. So not here. I think should be should be safe. Uh, let's also watch because this is completely different. Oh yes, the dog. That's the dog. I call it the dog. <laughs> it's like a kind of uh, oh the cerebrus uh, like a three-headed dog or two three-headed dog yeah three-headed frost dog the shavarak i guess shavarak wasn't that connected with jorgen <laughs> possibly <laughs> anyways uh easy so far uh, but yasmin was doing a lot more damage now ah okay let's proceed and uh, again uh, skip but the moment I find two of those frost, I will switch to Dorian. All right, proceed. So, ideally, if you do, if you if you can do like I'm doing, um, auto skip everything. You can actually, and you have accumulated uh, things for like two days like I have done so far uh, to do as do, do everything in one go or mostly in one go then you can this uh, creature here <laughs> is um, the lady with the harp uh, it's uh, also sometimes complicated depending on the levels um, if you have done uh, that accumulation, then you can of of uh, action points. Then you can do um, most of this very very, and you have the the right teams and strong enough. Then you can do this very quickly in like ten minutes. You can go through all of this just auto skipping everything. So not complicated any any anyhow so far. Then we come to the second buff, and on the second buff. Um, well i'm a bit divided so we got in the in the first one we got the magic it's not shown here anywhere but we got the magic and now uh, i tend to go either for a second magic or for a healing uh, because this team doesn't have a very well developed healing i will be picking uh, for sure uh, the healing here so i have a, i have a dorian but it's not a strong Dorian, unlike my other accounts. So on my other account, uh, we can we can take a look here. Uh, it's like uh, 70k or more. Seventy nine k. Yeah. So it's quite strong at this point. I'm very happy with him. But um, on my Facebook account, it's not so. Uh, let me rearrange this again. Yeah, like this. All right. But on this account, uh, is very very tiny. It's thirty two k. I was actually thinking more on the forty k range, but it's even less. I might even do this knee jerk reaction here. I think I will do exactly this knee jerk reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that I have him a bit, <laughs> a bit more fit. I might even come by. How many items do I have of this anyway? So I have uh, four, oh four, and oh plenty there, like four more. And uh, I guess two, uh, three, two, almost three. So 
So yeah, I'll disp dispense these items and make him a bit stronger. And I guess the rest will have to wait. So just a quick <laughs> a buff up before we proceed too far. Because I will need him for the boss. I will definitely need him for the boss. That's really... You need him for the boss. I mean, you might have a strong Martha. You might have a strong Celeste. But uh, Dorian really works well there. Especially if you have a, a, a hero that can benefit from Dorian a lot. So some heroes will be will be s uh, uh, faster at attacking. Uh, um, especially uh, like a Jew or, or, or Ishmael. But some even benefit more um, if they are... Um, if they are marksmen or mages, whatever, uh, because uh, they can they can be fighting from a range position, so they are ranged uh, attackers, and then they can attack much sooner, and then the close uh, combat uh, heroes because those have to go and um, and approximate the the enemy. What happens in the boss fight is that you will have uh, uh, these little things, tentacles that will be spawning all over the place, and then if you have a close combat uh, hero, you will have to move all around, and then those one two seconds he moves around to to, to target the next uh, enemy. Uh, he will be exposed, of course, to damage, and he will be taking a lot of damage. Uh, your 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 hero, your main damage dealer, might I say? Um, but at the same time, he will not be attacking, so he will be not taking advantage of the vampirism. And so, if you have range attacker, attacker like I have. On the other account, which is not the case of this one, then uh, Darin will be especially worthwhile. In this case, I'm hoping that Heidi, Celeste, Aurora, and Yasmin uh, will keep doing their best and help me get the the boss uh, pinned down. Uh, on previous occasions, it has not happened. It has been increasingly more uh, close to that point, but last time it wasn't. While the other account, the, the, the web account with Ishmael and with Jew, especially because of Jew, because Jew is there, I've been able to, to beat the boss every time. So right from the start, the, fir the first occasion, and all the way uh, since. So let's keep proceeding. I think I'm in the, r the right position. Uh, yes, I'm in the right position. We keep proceeding. Enough talking, more action. <laughs> But I, I hope I'm passing down some uh, some um, useful comments and ideas. So we move on to number 33. Now we are on the girl, girl world, or um, how to spell it, um, city um, type of monsters or um, NPCs, non-playable characters or enemies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these ones are uh, tough for my or tougher for my for my web account. Uh, they tolerate physical damage much uh, more than, than magic. Here I have I have Yasmin doing um, I believe just pure I don't think magical but maybe I'm confusing but Heidi does also magic as well as Celeste, and so it's easier for them. Now we switch to the very start of the campaign, so this uh, kind of elves and... I'm sorry, I don't remember the names, but uh, centaurs, yeah? Uh, these are the f some kind of fairies, I don't recall, that's the, the ones I don't recall the name. But we can see it's uh, easy peasy, so just skip. And their names are centaurs and fairies. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was right. And also satyrs, yeah, the satyrs. Very typical in Greek mythology. If you don't know, every hero and enemy on this game is um, either based on mythology, various mythology, so Greek, Roman, Egyptian, 
um, Hindu mythologies, every, if not every, <laughs> most of the main the main mainstream uh, mythologies ever that walked on Earth. And then uh, here and there, uh, very specific cases of um, other things like. Um, other video games, uh, movies, uh, other folk folklore, and so on. We we also have, of of course, like in, I would say all, but uh, at least most um, fantasy games, you will have also um, this crossover to the more modern setting of um, fiction, uh, for example. Lord of the Rings, or Warcraft, like said, like I said, uh, um, video games as well. So the orcs, the elves, everything that got, everything that already existed, more or less in mythologies, or myths, in, in the Middle Ages and so on, got evolved a bit um, with the, the modern fiction of the 20th century and beyond. And so all those writers like Tolkien improved on that and then made their own very complex stories. So now we are uh, almost close to the final arch. You know, there's a, a little bit of an arch here as well, incomplete arch, but th this is the, f the last complete arch. Now we do like this. So the squad 46. Turns out after all, I haven't needed uh, so far um, to use Dorian while in the first times I tried this I needed Dorian like the first the first two or three attempts at the um, at the great storm with this account and the other account so but so far I'm doing just fine now the 53 And we are now finishing or starting, starting, <laughs> and then arriving in middle at the edge of this uh, sharp end here. My improvisation skills. <laughs> uh, we are now at the um, 27 minute mark. Well, that's long. It's always long to detail these things. So now the third, the third buff. So on my uh, web account, because I have Ishmael and, and Drew, I picked physical damage. On this one, I have three very good options. I can pick either of them. Pure, pure is used by by Yasmin. Now we can confirm this by Yasmin and Heidi. So if we go here on Heidi. So she does, no, he does, it's a she, it's a he, he does um, pure damage, pure damage, pure damage, and no damage, all right? Only pure damage uh, is, is um, basic attack is physical, I believe. I don't think there's a modifier here that turns it to magic, unlike uh, Celeste. Last, on the other hand, we'll be doing uh, debuffs, buffs, and and then the healing, which is kind of considered pure, <laughs> kind of. And and then there's a skill I think is the Zenith. Yeah, the Zenith. It converts her bag magic, her basic attacks into magic attacks. So sh she does just in the end uh, magic damage plus debuffing and buffing which are always green like um, like pure damage but it's not damage and then we have Yasmin here now before Yasmin we also have Aurora so Aurora does physical as basic attack but then she also does a lot of magic attacks so this skill that skill this skill it's all a uh, magic attack and this one is a shield and lastly, we have uh, we have uh, Yasmin here. So Yasmin, uh, her basic attack is physical, 
this skill is physical this one basically uh, it's a modifier for uh, dodge and hit chance critical hit chance and then we have here pure damage and then we have again uh, um, a modifier that blocks the healing so I was actually thinking she had a skill that did magic but no it's only pure and physical so which one is the most effective in this situation it's probably pure damage here so combining pure on on Heidi and then on Yasmin um, kind of is a um, is a no-brainer here but um, of course I also have Aurora Aurora does a lot of damage on magic and then we have Celeste so this would also be a nice fit if I had um, probably another another magic hero and I do have it's just not well developed so uh, it's uh, it's Maya I believe and Maya also does pure so in the end <laughs> pure wins for this account so moving on now we do the first incursion right into the middle so these ones here for those who don't know and they have the force of the storm applied so so all these ones here they circle around the boss uh, and so when you are fighting here you have uh, you have uh, you, you take damage over time I believe uh, if, it, if it's not damage over time, but I, I believe like 90% it is, then you take extra damage from the enemies. And, and as you conquer uh, the positions on the map, uh, this force, the storm resistance, is reduced and then you, take, um, then you take less damage, basically. So that's why you don't go straight to the boss, because you would be crushed. So you, you have to go around, you find all these positions, and so you weaken this uh, as much as you can, and then you go and start the, the, the boss fight. So we take the first incursion here, and it's going to be buffed. And so now, this time, I will I will switch over to Dorian. I don't want to risk it. And this one, we will watch to see how we go. And we see everyone taking damage already, right? That's the force. So this one here. One out five percent of their max health in pure damage once per second. Okay, so not good. So uh, we can see that everybody's healing quite fast because we have Dorian uh, as well as Celeste. So in the end, it was easy might not have been so easy without Dorian um, our healing so direct by Dorian almost 300k Celeste more than 460k direct healing um, but we didn't have any indirect healing so vampirism I wonder why perhaps we got blocked on that I don't know but at least we have a second healer So next fight we will repeat the same. Um, my buffs here, so pure damage, the magic defense, the healing, extra healing. So this is on top of the healing that I do, we also put 20% more healing. And let's uh, do the same. I will switch back to Heidi on these last fights here, and then probably switch over again. We'll see. So easy, but again, no vampirism. But w oh, look at that, <laughs> Dorian, only forty k, thirty eight k, some moments ago before that did some upgrades, did four hundred twenty seven k, which is quite substantially more healing than even my Celeste did, and she uh, she's at. 75k power, almost double his power, so remarkable. You can see how effective Dorian is even when he's not well developed. The thing is, um, if he's not very well developed, he will get killed very quickly. <laughs> so always take that in consideration. Oh, 
All right, very, very hot in here. At least not as hot as other days, but still hot. And so keep hydrated. Very important. So next one will be this fight here. We will take back. Oh, surprise. How did that happen? We ran out of uh, action points. I thought I had enough to... Well, I guess we can do something else. We can loot in... Uh, well, we have a bunch of rewards here. Okay, nice. And we can see... Yeah, okay, nice. Also this one, but... Not that dramatic. We can see what we can do uh, to further progress if possible, otherwise we we will we'll have to call it a day, I guess. So let's see. I guess I can spend a few emeralds, but um, <laughs> just till 500. But it's just one action point more. Uh, there's energy. We can definitely do some more energy. Okay. There's this one, but um, yeah. Not today. So, <laughs> we are reaching. Maybe someone finished the adventure here. Not really. We are reaching our limits for today. Um, yeah, so. It wasn't that much, so let's see. Uh, continues. Here, this one. So, I guess I can open one bottle of energy. It's more effective tomorrow because tomorrow I will be able to, to, to grab uh, fresh quests. But okay. And um, well, I guess I need to buff up further my Dorian, huh? So we're missing some rings, some candles, which is fine. This will take little bit of many things and here the hearts and the candle and the, the and the rings so d and we get here 1600 health and we get here uh, n not so important stats so this will be the one i will focus so just dump some energy there and try to get items All right, we completed one, so we have one more attack. <laughs> um, the rest here we'll have to, to wait for tomorrow. And the same here, there, as I said. Um, it's not something I can get there. And then there's the, the emeralds here. So, do -do, nothing regarding Outland. So, multiple ideas. I can go for Outlands to get some skin coins. But I can also try to get some more energy from here. Like that. And so that's... That's 246, so 120 each. And then... Um, right, what was this one? Okay, and I had, and then I need uh, 60 more ammo. So I can, I can do one outland here. So like that. I guess if you do one, you can do two and get the third. Makes more sense. All right, and uh, let's spend the energy again on Dorian. This one, yes. Oh, nice! I made the ring. <laughs> Not very common. Five items in in 10 attacks nice uh, not very common though so we get two uh, extra attacks some more things there two extra attacks uh, to progress just a bit more so what we'll expect us so we have now uh, number five and number two and then this will be the end of today's video you guys will have to I don't know just uh, because imagining the rest will be 
possible, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't take that much effort, so um, what will happen? I guess I can do a video for the boss, and, and then we can. Yeah, I guess that will be more fun. I can do a video for the boss. Um, but what will probably happen here? I will. I will completely, totally get destroyed by the boss again again and again because um, this team is not optimal for the boss right I don't have I don't have uh, 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 some heroes here that can really do s a lot of a lot of damage uh, to these bosses like Orion Orion with with um, with Dorian I suspect will do a lot of damage I even probably even more paired with uh, also with with Helios uh, Ju, which I already talked about, uh, perhaps Astrid will be doing great here, but um, but not really. Yasmin, Yasmin will get uh, destroyed, um, and Heidi. I'm hoping Heidi, Heidi at this point, my Heidi will will be doing uh, uh, much more. But uh, yeah, <laughs> not very optimistic. Anyways, the the rest of the path ends like this. You go over four. Then you go over six, again in the six circles, so you'll get uh, damage, and then you will hit number eight here. And you have, if you haven't noticed, uh, there was there was a bunch more of these things. So this one here, this one there, and and then this one here. So this one two count this properly one two three so these three uh, are powering the boss once you uh, destroy those um, he loses this like you do on the adventures he, he, he there's the towers right you say this is the equivalent uh, he, lo he loses these special buffs and and then becomes he knows she <laughs> she and uh, other demons with her and she's a very evil demon and these tentacles they will lose this this buff so so then it becomes much easier you need to take out these towers uh, basically you really need to um, and then once you take the third and you have reduced the storm resist then you can start doing this uh, of course if you if you can get more action points then you can you know clear up a bit more, reduce the storm resist and then attack. But it's not going to be my case. I'm not um, I'm not a big spender. I just spend the Valkyrie's favor so I can enjoy the game without uh, being annoyed all the time that I can't do raid. It's just how the game is engineered. What I will do with the the rewards will be most likely pet soul chests and storm legacy chests. Because at the current point, the situation is, um, I cannot see here. Let's let's check over here on both accounts. So I can I can also show the other account. But the situation is that um, I only need these two items basically <laughs> on this account, and that's all. Uh, and but even these ones, I can I can go in. Um, level 6 which should be and level 8 should be quite easy to do solo at least level 6 maybe not 8 and get some rewards out of that so it's not too bad and the cost is not also too big too big but can even buy these especially this one um, but there's always the option of getting these two items and that's the only items I could get and that would make sense at this point because all of these things take a lot of chaos particles to evolve uh, as well as gold and I just don't have enough uh, so why getting more items if I <laughs> can't um, finish the ones I have I have enough items equipped on every pet just not enough particles to advance them so either get um, particles which you cannot get directly or get the souls or don't get anything <laughs> else because it doesn't make sense in the souls 
Uh, this one uh, has already uh, advanced to, to four stars, as well as Kane. Actually, all of them. I'm not seeing now. Um, but none of them are close to 1000, so what's the point? <laughs> You're just gonna get the souls, they're gonna be sitting in there and then you cannot do anything for a long time. So I think the obvious answer for me would be getting the the storm chests. As many as I can and then just opening and getting loads of hopefully <laughs> um, the the chaos um, particles and uh, eventually some, some pet souls. Right, so um, this is the account that I don't have the the soul chest. I believe it was the other account. Maybe I didn't s check properly this. Well, we'll take a look now. And here we are. So again, this account is the same situation. So every pad, unlike the other one, is completely equipped. The other one is missing two items. But uh, yeah, I mean, upgrading this, maybe I have enough to upgrade a few items. Maybe all these items or almost all these items here for Kane. But uh, I also didn't really chose, should I go f uh, now full Al Axel and get Axel to the to the Violet plus tree before up upgrading the others? Or should I pick two or three and, and develop them more equally? I don't know. I I don't know, really. <laughs> Possibly the best answer will be Axel, but it will also be more expensive. So, you know, these ones is 100 and so it's a lot of investment there. But anyways, I haven't picked, so that's another topic. Um, and if I do have... Yes, I knew I had. So yeah, you c with these ones you can you can pick the souls, five souls per chest. But um, unlike the other one, I have some that are closing in in the one thousand, but still I don't have enough. I think so. Thirteen times four. That's like close to one hundred fifty. Thirteen time times five. I'm sorry, not not times ten times five, so sixty five souls. Sixty five souls is meaningless at this point. And at the cost here, and we can do this math for you. We've traveled this far, we can do the math. Um, so that's thirty six times five plus sixty five. That would net me two hundred and forty five. Uh, souls at this point and if we add up this with uh, say for example Albus there 724 it would still be not enough I, I would be at n 969 souls I would still be short of about 30 souls to reach the next the next evolution so it's a kind of a, a lot for like the expression dying at the beach. <laughs> you go all the way to get some sun at your local uh, beach, now you get traffic, you uh, get some heat in the public transports or you go by bike or bicycle, walking, whatever you do and you arrive there and you almost at the, the water and you just die at the beach and that's exactly what's happening here with me <laughs> I'm dying <laughs> at the verge of upgrading evolving uh, a pet to the next evolution and I kind of prefer spending that uh, those rewards in uh, in getting me in getting me some uh, some chaos particles well that's that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this I hope the um, you got some information out of this uh, the path th really the path it's about logics here here really so you just you just do a path that makes you go through all these kind of towers it's the arbinger still what's they call it's what they call them 
You just have to go through all these three Arbinger steels, right? Or towers in the adventures to lower the effectiveness of the boss. And you, you just have to find as many as you can to lower the storm resistance. And then eventually you are, I hopefully, <laughs> we all hope, uh, ready for the boss. And then you can spend one, two, maybe three attacks in the boss to defeat the boss. And then you win. So that's the objective. Um, but I... I I know that many of you will have difficulty like I like I have. I, I only won like in the start one or two advent uh, um, great storms with the other with this account actually this this one the Ishmael and and Jew account. Um and then I started losing and and then I started winning again. But the other account is is lagging. So well, in the end, you get these rewards, and uh, these are chests. You you just get extra coins. This one will have twenty thousand coins. In, that's why you should win the boss if possible. And uh, with that, maybe you will get to a hundred, uh, hundred or eighty thousand coins. And with those, you can you can buy a lot of things. So I would recommend going. I would just recommend going for whatever you need. <laughs> but in my case, it will be the storm legacy, legacy chest. So. I'll see you around. I'll be trying to make more videos soon. Um, stick around. And if you like it, just g leave a, a comment, a subscribe, um, a like. Do whatever you do. And ta-da. Take care. See you around. Bye-bye.